I'm sorry. No, 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 no. Why, why, why? Why, why, why? Do you really hate me that bad? Yo, I'm scared to go to sleep. I might wake up a motherfucking sleigh. Lavinia? Yeah. Honey, they're still outstanding. Are they not counting them here? What's going on, Vadim? Why is it Philadelphia counting votes? Call it. Call them. Do we have content? Hello. If you're watching the stream right now, you work in Philadelphia. We'll put you on stream. I'll call you. I want to know what the fuck. What is going on? And he, he just called the results. <laughs> it sucks being hated by so many people. What is wrong with you? I can't. I can't do this anymore. I'm literally sick. I'm literally sick to my stomach. What has happened to America? What has happened to democracy? What has happened to freedom? Some people are not okay right now. <laughs> what the f <laughs> You <laughs> What? Okay, this is just embarrassing. Hi. I'd like to know how you can vote. We can't answer the door right now, but if you'd like to leave a message, you can do it now. Shameful. Are you the one that walks by here and always screaming at people? Uh, no, I haven't walked yeah. by. Yeah, that's her. Okay, because a lot of people walk by and scream. Yeah, I, I'm not surprised. You are voting for the devil. Don't you know wow. that? No. Why are you voting for him? Um, because I believe he is the moral candidate. Oh my god. F*** you for that one. That's exactly moral? Right. That's how your side acts. Oh my god. That's He's the most guys... immoral person around. In your opinion, that's oh, how f*** you. Yeah, yeah that's, I'm sorry. Have a nice day. F*** you. Have a nice day. close with this. There's an adage an historian once called a law of history, true of every society across the ages. The adage is, only when it is dark enough can you see the stars. I know many people feel like we are entering a dark time. But for the benefit of us all, I hope that is not the case. But here's the thing, America, if it is, let us fill the sky with the light of a brilliant, brilliant billion of stars. The light, the light of optimism, of faith, of truth, and service. you <laughs> and may that work guide us even in the face of setbacks toward the extraordinary promise of the United States of America I thank you all may God bless you and may God bless the United States of America I thank you all Okay, gay, fake, fake and gay, but fine, acceptable. I'm happy for her to come out and do her thing, to say something to her supporters who are existing under some delusion that Kamala ran some great campaign and there's been this great injustice that's happened because uh, she didn't win the election. I want to be very clear here. Kamala ran a terrible campaign. In fact, Kamala didn't even run a campaign. The, the true story here, the true story of this election and the story of her life 
is it's been one long coronation for Kamala Harris, okay? She slept with the right person, Willie Brown, and then she got on the right boards and got the right jobs when she was in San Francisco. Again, that's not coming from me. It's not me being petty. You can go back and you can read their articles. That is just the reality of what San Francisco was writing about. All the journalists were basically saying, who is this woman? Why is she being allowed to be a part of any political process when all she's done is slept with a powerful man, okay? And then what happened here is her party staged a coup. That's what happened this year. Her party staged a coup against an ailing elderly man. Credit to Hillary Clinton, by the way. I don't even know how she kept it within herself to pretend to support Kamala because Hillary Clinton, for better or worse, she actually did run. She, she ran a campaign and she lost. And yes, she was arrogant and she never foresaw the possibility that she could lose. Hence this amazing tweet that we must always unearth that Hillary Clinton tweeted to herself before the election back in 2016 at 8.03 a.m. on October 26th. Hillary Clinton tweeted, happy birthday to this future president. So much happening here. Who even tweets a happy birthday to themselves beyond that? Just being like, I'm going to be the president. Like, yes, she was arrogant. Uh, but as I said, she actually ran and she actually lost and she was able to hold the conversation. She understood the policies. She had been obviously uh, the first lady under Bill Clinton and she had something to say. So you could see people rallied around. Maybe this is going to be the candidate. Kamala didn't do any of that. Do you guys know what just was going on in my head as I was watching or listening to Kamala speak? Like who wrote the speech for her and deemed it worthy for her to come out and, you know, what am I even saying? That has always been her, her pattern of speech. Maybe it's just, I don't even know what, what I can even term it. So do you know another thought that just came to my head? Imagine what the people of America have they got to do in America, America of all places. Then for I want you guys for a second to imagine what is happening in places like we from the third world country what our politicians are using us to do. Just imagine it, the clown show we are, we are beholding in our countries. A third world country, just imagine it for a second. If this is happening in a supposedly first world country where everybody is supposed to, you know, know their rights, everybody is supposed to demand, you know, even if it's not perfection, everybody is supposed to demand something right from the leaders. Imagine if that is happening, just for a second, imagine what is happening in the rest of the world. That the thought that just came to my head. If they are, if they are, if they have enough guts to play in your faces like this, nah, guys, no, no. waking nightmare yesterday was election day we were all hoping it would make history and boy did it ever mr trump made history last night he will be the first convicted felon to be president of the united states America's elected its first criminal president before electing its first female president. What a day for proud felonists. What the actual f America? We have had two qualified, accomplished women nominated for president, and both times they lost to the worst man in the whole country. starting to feel like we're going to get every other first before we get a first woman president, first Amish president, first uh, Wahlberg president. Hey, there's no rule that says a dog can't be president as long as it's a boy dog. 
But instead of breaking the glass ceiling, last night America decided to get back with her dirtbag ex, and I had no idea how much she missed him. Overnight, a stunning victory for Donald Trump, blowing through the so-called blue wall of Midwest states. In county after county across the country, and proving on his margin of victory in pass races. Suburban areas, rural areas, even big cities and, and bluer parts of the map all tipped in his direction. It is a sweeping and stunning victory, unlike any in our history. It will be studied and debated for generations. Aww. We're going to last generations? <laughs> is the optimism I was looking for. <laughs> Thanks, George Slopadopoulos. <laughs> that's your legal name now. But that's right, Trump is on track to win every single swing state and the popular vote. Just like the relationship between Trump and Eric, this one wasn't close at all. Oh, my God. <laughs> I have four more years of Eric jokes. F me. <laughs> Just think about what happened here. America voted this guy out in 2020. And what has he done since then? He tried to overthrow the government. He was convicted of 34 felonies. He spent an entire campaign promising vengeance against his enemies. And if you're wondering who, after all of that, would want to back him up, well, buckle up. It's a long list. The former president winning with a coalition driven by white voters, men, and first-time voters. Young men in union households. Those older voters. Voters aged 45 to 64. Those younger than the age of 30. Black men, Latino men, suburban women, Arab Americans, and white men. So, all of America. All of America. You just listed all of America. Seems the only group she can't blame for Trump's victory are black women and people in comas. And, uh, and puppies. Or puppies in comas. God damn it, I just made myself more sad. So it's undeniable that Trump gained with practically every demographic. It's mind boggling. But thankfully, cable news is on 24 hours a day, so pundits can incessantly play the blame game. How did this happen? I think Democrats went way too far to the left. Got it. Okay, Kamala was too far left, didn't embrace centrists. It is perhaps the strategy so forcefully embracing Republicans like the Liz Cheney's. Okay, sorry. I see she embraced centrists too much. What else? She wouldn't really stand and back the, the Israelis. Uh-huh, she, uh, she wasn't pro-Israel enough, all right? From the base of the party, it cares about Gaza, and they, by not bringing a Palestinian on stage to the DNC, these are not the value, the base values of the Democratic Party. Or pro-Palestinian enough. Okay, was that it? I think that uh, Kamala Harris had this albatross around her neck, and it was Joe Biden. She couldn't distance herself from Biden and couldn't think of anything that she would have done differently. Right, 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 right. I see it now. Kamala didn't distance herself enough from Joe Biden. And uh, let me guess. It is probably not the best idea that Democrats orchestrated a very public stab fest, a proverbial stabbing in the front of the sitting president of the United States of America and then didn't use him in his hometown of Scranton, Pennsylvania. Mm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So she betrayed Joe Biden, but was also too close to Joe Biden. Uh huh. This is all making sense if I just put all the pieces together. Who f knows? Who knows? As productive as this feels right now, I, I am not really interested in gaming out how exactly this happened. This defeat was so resounding that you could literally say anything and it wouldn't be plausible. She should have picked Mu Dang for her VP. <laughs> she should have gone on the Hop to a Girls podcast. Maybe she visited Wisconsin too much. Sure, that makes sense. Why not? Honestly, I don't really care why she lost. I care why he won. We... we have spent so much time 
diagnosing Donald Trump and what his actions say about him. He's a dictator. He's a fascist. He's a malignant narcissist whose blood type is fryer oil. <laughs> but it's pretty clear that America is the one that needs the diagnosis because whatever's wrong with him, we f love it. In this moment, Donald Trump is holding up a mirror to the American people, and it might be time to take a good hard look. I told myself that this show would be uplifting tonight and give people hope and inspiration, but unfortunately, I'm too depressed and quite frankly, very, very hungover. <laughs> One thing I've come to realize is there is no way you will watch or follow Donald, Donald Trump, you know, follow his activities, what he's doing. There is no way you will do that without falling in love with the man, with the heart he has for his country. If every leader in the world loves their country the way Donald Trump loves America, I don't think the world will be having an issue with leadership. I'm telling you, the man has so much heart for the people. He wants the best for the country. In fact, he literally wants to win. He loves to win. And if there's one thing I know about business people, business people love to win. They will do anything in their power to make sure they win. So he's going to win. That means America is going to win as well. I, I just wish that people would just you know, leave the bad wagon of taking whatever the media gives them and just seek for the knowledge themselves think for yourself seek knowledge for yourself that i just wish people would do that but i know we live in the world the world is never perfect so like my geography teacher once said the world will not be complete if we don't have fools and vagabonds in it so that's just the same way things the way we have right thinking people the same way we have people that can't think for themselves they need people to give them garbage to feed on and they will just be going about regurgitating it like it's as if it's their own thought that's what, another thing I've come to realize. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section. And once again, congratulations to America. This is your morning. Good morning to you guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe, guys. Bye.